I've chosen the right plants for this environment and they are going to really support themselves uh, with very few inputs. But with any plants, you have to support them through establishment. And establishment can take three months, can take six months. That's where you actually have to give them a little bit of water. I don't give these guys any fertiliser, I give them the sea salt, but I am going to have to water them over the next three months, just once a week, just to kind of help them along their way. And then really, once they've got themselves established, they should look after themselves. So the last thing we do is I mulch the garden. This is uh, rotted down uh, wood chip and I use it for ornamental plantings. Mulching is a wonderful thing because mulching actually helps prevent uh, weed growth. I think it looks a lot better in terms of neatening the garden up uh, but it also holds in the moisture because we lose a lot of moisture from the soil through evaporation believe it or not so this kind of traps in a lovely layer between the topsoil and the mulch which is where a lot of our feeder roots go. This is not compost. While it's wood mulch that's actually composting down which is fantastic it is not a blend of compost. Compost is quite different. Compost is where we actually use green waste, chook manure, vegetable matter and I blend all that together and I turn it over regularly because I cook it and it cooks all the weeds in it but it's actually got a bit of a balance between the nitrogen um, and the carbon whereas this is purely trees that have been chipped up. You don't want to put this down on your garden bed immediately it arrives. It's great if it's actually had a chance to rot down a little bit because because of all this woody mulch, see this woody matter in here, that actually draws nutrients out of the soil when it's actually decomposing. So if I put it on really raw, it actually robs the plants of nutrients. And quite often if we are going to put it on as, as a raw product, we'll actually throw some nitrogen in with it as well just to balance off the amount of nitrogen it's drawing out of the soil to decompose. So this has been sitting up in a pile for months. We got it off the local road, the guys came into wood chip and we just uh, asked them to dump it at our place. So it's a local product, which is also important because sometimes when you order mulch in or you get mulch from a, a roadside or from the council, it comes with a whole lot of weed seeds. I know exactly where this mulch has come from. Uh, okay, let's do it. And I put about 50 mil of mulch over my bed, but it just kind of really, I think, brings the bed up nicely. And it certainly helps with our weed control. The last little thing I like to do is just a little bit of, bit of detailing and it's just getting that edge a bit crisper. It's making sure that your plants are uh, not stampled over or crushed with mulch, um, but it just kind of finesses the whole thing a little bit and uh, it's just the finishing off really. Just go around that. I would dearly love just to hose the plants, but I don't have that luxury here because we're on tank water and I really just hand water things with buckets and watering cans from water that I've saved in, in little different areas around the garden. So, because uh, in, in perhaps a landscape job, we would give these a light sprinkle or you'd turn on the sprinklers, which would just wash the foliage a bit. But, uh, so look, that's just finessing. Um, with a little bit of a rake also. So, job done. I think, you know, this is my garden and I've shown you the way I would do it. Uh, in terms of picking your plants, I think, you know, you do it and you pick what you like. But there's some things I've showed you today that I think we need to really try and get right. And that's, we work with the microclimate, we pick the plants that are going to enjoy that microclimate so that we don't have to put a lot of inputs into that plant and those plants will grow and flourish on their own accord. But in terms of the plant selection, that's your choice.